For this morning's hearing, the chamber continues to hear the remainder of the testimony of the current witness. And Mr. M. Hoy, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Saint Kui, is present in the courtroom. Thank you. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chi. The chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chi. The 10 September 2015 which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 10 September 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nunji by the duty doctor for the accused, the ECCC, dated 10 September 2015, which notes that today, Nunji has back pain and dizziness when he sits and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. The chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow it, and that applies to the whole day. And the chamber will hand the floor again to the defense team. Yesterday, the Nunchi's defense stated that they did not have any question to be put there to this witness. The floor is now given to the defense team for Q some point. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour. Bonjour Thank à you, tous Mr. et bonjour, Monsieur Sankoy. Je m'appelle Antaguissé, je suis co-avocat international de Monsieur Kiersampan. C'est à ce titre que je vais vous poser uh, quelques questions and supplémentaires. Uh, tout d'abord, uh, quelques questions de géographie pour uh, préciser um, la localité uh, d'où vous venez. Vous avez indiqué que vous êtes... Uh, dans Corban 2, qui euh, est dans la commune de Ancombar, de Ancorban, pardon. Et si j'ai bien compris, il y a neuf villages dans Ancorban. Ou en tout cas, en 75, il y avait neuf villages dans Ancorban. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition what you have just uh, quoted in your statement, in your question, is correct. Ce que vous venez de dire, Et nous sommes d'accord que la commune de Ancorban fait partie du district de Kongmi. C'est bien ça? Yes, Ancorban is located oui. in Kongmi district. Ancorban est à Kangmi. Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer combien de communes compose le district de Kangmia? Can you tell me how many communes there are in 
Kongmias district. There are 11 communes in Kongmi district. Non, district de Kongmi. I can uh, even tell you the names of those uh, communes if you wish. Si vous uh, moi, ce qui m'intéresse, c'est donc la période de 1975 à 1979. Uh, Est-ce que vous pouvez me donner les noms des communes qui composaient, entre 1975 et 1979, le district de Kangmyr, à l'époque, uh, le découpage administratif de l'époque do not know for sure the names of those communes. However, I know for sure the names that are being used at present. And under the Khmer Rouge regime, I am not sure as how many communes were under the Khmer district, or what their names were. Est-ce que la commune de Prim Chikang vous dit quelque chose? Does the name Pring Chikong mean anything to you? That is the name of a commune. But Pim Chikong Yes, I know Pim Chikong oui, commune. Pim Chikong. It is adjacent to the Angkoban commune. Elle est à côté de la commune d'Angkoban. Et est-ce que cette uh, commune existait au temps uh, du Kampuchea démocratique? That commune exist during the period of democratic Kampuchea. Est-ce qu'il est exact de dire que c'est dans cette commune que la pagode Otrakun se situait Otrakun pagoda was in that commune. But what Otrakun? Otrakun pagoda, yes, indeed, uh, located la in Pimchikong commune. Dans la commune de Maintenant, je voudrais m'intéresser au secteur. Est-ce que uh, vous vous, vous souvenez dans quel secteur ou quelle région uh, se situait le Do district de Kangmia à l'époque du Kampuchea démocratique? During the DK period, I do not know whether Pim Chikong or Kong Mi was under which sector. Et est-ce que vous saviez dans quelle zone se, tru se trouvait votre commune And did you know in what zone your commune was situated bah, I am not sure about that. Je ne suis pas certain. Est-ce que vous avez entendu le nom de zone centrale did ou de zone nord Est-ce que ça vous dit quelque chose North zone Does that mean anything to you? I don't actually. I only heard uh, people talking about the north zone or the central zone. And of course, the north zone should be located uh, towards the south of the toward the north of the country. But I did not know as to which provinces were encompassed under uh, the uh, north zone territory. Pas de souci. Maintenant, je voudrais euh, m'intéresser euh, à la période avant 75 que vous avez évoqué un petit peu hier. Vous avez euh, indiqué que dans cette période avant 75, vous, votre village était adjacent à euh, des villages euh, Cham. Si j'ai bien compris, euh, ces villages Cham se trouvaient dans Angkor Ban 1 et Angkor Ban 3. 
Et vous avez précisé que euh, vous partagez une route, mais que vous n'aviez pas de relation étroite avec les Cham. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition qui suivait les berges. And the road straight from Ankoban 1, 2, 3, so on. Deux, trois, etc. And local people use uh, that common Et road. Les villageois empruntaient cette route. But there was all, there was no frequent contact with tout, uh, other uh, travelers. Il n'y avait pas plutôt de And as uh, avec you understand, uh, the Cham people le comprendrez worked mostly les uh, they were mostly dealt with their uh, fishing so usually pêcheurs. in early morning they would Donc, go fishing in the river and as for us the uh, uh, Khmer people usually we would leave in, in the morning to matin, go to the rice fields est-ce que je dois comprendre que uh, en fait, vous fréquentiez la route commune, mais que vous n'alliez pas, vous personnellement en tout cas, au sein des villages Cham. Une autre question également pour la période avant 75. Est-ce que dans Ankorban, il y avait euh, des pagodes dans votre commune Pagodas Et je voudrais savoir euh, au niveau de la tradition s'il était euh, courant que euh, des gens puissent être enterrés sur l'enceinte euh, ou autour d'une pagode. For people to be buried within the premises around pagodas. But, regarding the burial tradition for the Khmer Donc, people, it's not necessary for the, uh, the burial to take place within the premises of the pagoda. The burial place uh, could be anywhere. It could be in the field or near the forest. And only a number of our families uh, decided to bury their relatives' uh, bodies within the premises of the pagoda. Mais donc, que je comprends de votre réponse que cela arrive. Je voudrais maintenant m'intéresser à la période après 75. Um, vous avez indiqué que vous-même, vous, vous, vous aviez été affecté à des travaux agricoles. Et j'ai cru comprendre, et corrigez-moi si je me trompe, que euh, au sein de euh, la coopérative, en tout cas des personnes qui prenaient les repas en commun, vous étiez environ 600 personnes. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition Did I properly understand your testimony? The number that you uh, quote is uh, correct. C'est le bon chiffre, oui. Je voudrais savoir si à un moment ou à un autre, vous vous souvenez euh, que des euh, brigades ou des unités mobiles ont été mises en place au sein de votre commune ou plus généralement au sein du district. Uh, 
mobile generator was formed à ma connaissance at the commune level and actually they de built a, a shelter in the middle of a plantation which was about three kilometers from the, the village where the mobile unit the commune mobile unit was based and a person there was in charge que la brigade mobile and de no mobile unit was formed at a village level. Il n'y avait pas de brigade mobile au village. Said, only at the uh, commune level such a mobile unit was formed and they were based in a shelter in a building far from the village. Est-ce que vous savez comment était composé ces unités ou brigades mobiles? And do you know how those mobile brigades or units were set up? What did they consist of? What I know is that uh, children from the uh, villagers in a mobile unit, and mostly uh, those who were single, and I refer to both uh, male and female youth, were gathered to join that so-called mobile unit. J'en viens maintenant à ce que vous nous avez indiqué hier à propos de l'arrivée de 15 personnes Cham dans euh, votre village, en Corban 2, vous avez situé, il me semble, l'arrivée euh, de ces cinq ou six familles, avez-vous dit, en 76. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez à quel moment de 76 hein, ces familles sont arrivées Regarding the Cham people who were brought uh, to live in my village, about the Khmer Rouge, I cannot recall the exact date. However, I knew it happened in around 1976, and they were placed there to work and to live with the Khmer people. Sans vous souvenir de la date exacte, est-ce que vous vous souvenez à peu près de la saison Par exemple, est-ce que c'était au moment de la récolte du riz Est-ce que c'était en période de pluie, etc. Est-ce que vous avez un autre élément peut-être qui pourrait vous aider à situer dans le temps cette arrivée no, I cannot recall any uh, particular uh, time of the year no, that the Cham people were brought in to live uh, with us. There is an item that I want to provide you with a speculation. Je comprends tout à fait, il n'y a pas de problème. Si vous ne nous souvenez pas, je ne vous demande pas d'inventer. Euh, autre question, vous avez indiqué que euh, dans un premier temps, euh, ces familles, enfin, ces, ces personnes se sont installées en famille et que euh, par la suite, euh, les hommes ont été euh, envoyés travailler ailleurs. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez euh, qui a pris cette décision déjà We could not know for sure as who actually made that decision. And what I know is that the men or the husbands of those uh, women were sent uh, to work elsewhere. And I do not know at which level or at a commune level or at what level the decision came from. Et est-ce que um, vous savez dans quel cadre ils sont partis uh, travailler ailleurs? Do you know under what circumstances or within what framework they went to work somewhere else? I am not sure. 
je ne suis pas certain. However, under the Khmer Rouge regime, when people were said to be sent to work elsewhere, usually they would be sent to the work site, namely to build them, or to the canal, or to work in the rice fields. Peut-être pour vous rafraîchir la mémoire, ce que vous avez dit dans votre entretien, E3 bar 5301, ERN en français 00622399, ERN en anglais 00210481. 080 et en Khmer 00635166. Voilà ce que vous dites à This propos uh, de ces hommes Cham. Vous dites, les hommes adultes Cham avaient été déplacés auparavant pour aller travailler dans une brigade mobile dans d'autres régions en 1976. Fin de citation. Est-ce que ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire Est-ce qu'effectivement, uh, ces personnes sont parties uh, travailler dans des brigades mobiles I do not recall that statement, and as you understand, ça. this event took place many, many Et years ago. Que cela il y a très I recall for sure that uh, the, the men amongst those young people were sent to work elsewhere, outside of the village. And if I uh, made that uh, statement in my uh, previous interview, si je dit dans le and de mon that this event took place in April, et que cela en avril, maybe I recall uh, that month uh, when I was interviewed uh, dans le, that le year, de audition, je me suis but now I cannot recall it, and I don't have uh, the document to refer pas, to. Et je pas le document sous les yeux pour y faire référence. Okay, And that is why I said I am unsure as of the date. Et c'est pourquoi je vous dis que je ne suis pas certain de la date. Euh, alors je ne sais pas d'où vient euh, le, la question du mois d'avril, parce qu'il ne me semble pas avoir euh, cité de euh, moi dans le cadre de euh, la citation de votre, de votre audition, mais il n'y a pas de souci, j'entends bien que vous ne vous souvenez pas exactement euh, euh, des circonstances et euh, j'en je, resterai là. Je voudrais maintenant euh, revenir à l'arrestation que vous avez évoquée euh, hier des euh, familles de Cham qui étaient euh, arrêtées. Si j'ai bien compris, les hommes étant partis travailler ailleurs, ils restaient des femmes et des enfants. Est-ce que euh, nous sommes d'accord pour dire qu'il restait environ une dizaine de personnes Yes, I agree, and uh, that is correct. Oui, je suis d'accord. C'est exact. Entre 76, le moment où ces familles sont arrivées dans votre village, et 77, le moment de leur arrestation, est-ce que nous sommes d'accord pour dire que vous avez vécu aux côtés de ces personnes que vous mangiez de façon collective et qu'en gros, tout le monde vivait, il me semble que c'est l'expression que vous avez utilisée, sous les mêmes conditions. The way they lived, the way they uh, eat, the way they ate communally, La façon yes, dont ils vivaient, dont and ils I agree to the quote you just uh, read out. De façon collective, uh, oui, et je suis d'accord avec ce que vous venez de dire. J'en reviens maintenant au jour de l'arrestation. Vous avez indiqué que la personne qui a euh, piloté cette arrestation est un certain Roun, qui était euh, chef de la sécurité au niveau de la commune. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris bah, 
amongst those who came to uh, make the arrest uh, was Rune, who was Rune in charge of the commune uh, security. What you read out is correct. Est-ce que vous savez depuis combien de temps Roon était responsable de And la sécurité do you know for how long au moment de cette arrestation Roon had been in charge of security that is up until the time of the arrest Tam khom dang nang ke chap pi to my knowledge From the time that the Khmer Rouge uh, took control in 1975, Run uh, held that position, Rune and on the day the Jam people were arrested, Run was Rune there in his le capacity as, uh, to be in charge of the uh, commune security. De responsable de la sécurité de la commune. Hier, selon mes notes en tout cas, vous Yesterday, avez utilisé uh, l'expression « force communale » pour dire, uh, pour évoquer les personnes qui étaient avec Roon pour procéder aux arrestations. Est-ce que vous pouvez être plus précis sur ces personnes qui accompagnaient Roon Combien étaient-elles Et est-ce que uh, vous avez reconnu des gens parmi uh, ces personnes Within the group, there was a room, and Dans ce groupe, il y there avait were between four to room. five men who were Et his subordinates. Quatre ou cinq de ses subordinates. And amongst the, the uh, subordinates, I recognized one man while as he lived in je, village je number four, reconnu, which was not far quatre, from uh, village number two, and his name was Troy Nee. Il However, after the collapse of the regime, people took the revenge de on him and he was slashed to death, et il a été as the, in the case of Rune. En morceau, tout comme Quoi, as mené à so, uh, besides Rune, I only know one other person amongst the group. Rune, je reconnu que autre seule, autre Est-ce que sans uh, les reconnaître, vous savez si... Toutes ces personnes-là étaient ressortissantes de la commune de Ankorban. Uh, an objection to the question. Uh, if, uh, the witness just clearly stated that he didn't know who the other individuals were, so he wouldn't be able to state whether they were from Ankorban commune or not. Je reformuler la question. I will rephrase my question. Uh, Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que um, les forces communales au sein de la commune d'Ankorban avaient un uniforme particulier? have a special uniform. Uh, the security forces uh, of the uh, commune, Les forces de sécurité de la commune wore uh, black uh, clothing des, des with a scarf on uh, their neck. Une écharpe autour du est-ce que c'était une écharpe qui était reconnaissable par was rapport à d'autres écharpes uh, And uh, it was just a, a black uniform with a, a scarf. Est-ce que vous savez si Rune you know avait des responsabilités uh, autres en dehors de la commune? Uh, I do not know. 
Je ne sais pas. What I know is that uh, Ron was in charge of the uh, commune security and he was the one who uh, made arrest of people in the commune. And while I was plowing the field, uh, sometimes I saw him uh, walking to the rice fields as well, so he did not uh, remain dormant uh, within the village area, but he went uh, to the plantation and to the fields as well. Vous avez évoqué un certain nombre de noms hier uh, au niveau de, des responsables locaux. Vous avez notamment évoqué le chef du district de Kangmia à l'époque, un certain Khan. Est-ce que vous savez quand il a pris ses fonctions Khan was the district chief. I do not know when he became the district chief at Kongmia. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez quand vous l'avez vu pour la première fois et à quelle occasion Khan, the district chief, came to convene a meeting in late 1976. Where did this meeting take place? Answer. I could recall it well that the meetings was held among all villagers in the Angoban three village. Et est-ce que vous savez qui était le prédécesseur de Kam? Qui était? À ce poste avant lui, si vous vous en souvenez. Vous avez également évoqué un certain Han. Alors, à l'attention des interprètes, uh, il s'agit uh, du numéro 2 sur uh, la liste que j'ai fait circuler pour éviter les problèmes de prononciation, uh, que vous avez évoqué comme étant le chef adjoint du village uh, apprécié de la population. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez quand Han a pris ses fonctions President, please hold on, Mr. Witness. You have the floor now, Deputy Court Prosecutor. Just a point of clarification for the record. In, in the English, I'm hearing Han, but the Deputy Chief of the Village, uh, uh, my recollection, what the witness stated was on. So I want to make sure that the record is clear in all languages about who we're discussing at this point. Han, from my recollection, uh, was the uh, chief of the Wat Otrakon Security Center. Alors, c'était yes, précisément pour éviter uh, ces problèmes de prononciation the, the que j'ai fait circuler une liste. Donc, à l'attention des so, interprètes, il s'agit du numéro 2 yes, sur la liste qui s'écrit Han A apostrophe N en français. Je, je sais, je, je vous prie de m'excuser de mon. Mauvais accent, I'm, I'm mais euh, voilà, c'est le numéro 2, donc effectivement, chef adjoint du village, uh, Anne. Uh, donc, euh, monsieur le témoin, euh, ces problèmes de prononciation so, étant réglés, uh, est-ce que uh, vous vous souvenez quand issues, uh, ce chef adjoint a été après ses fonctions chief, uh, Answer. Regarding on, 
Or First, he was simply an ordinary citizen début, in Angkor Wan number two village, and he was assigned Puis, to be the deputy chief of a unit. Chef From my recollection, he became souvenir, the deputy chief. From 1975. And whose deputy was he? The chief of the village was a female, she was uh, reassigned from a uh, woman unit. And do you remember his name? Or her name? Correct interpreter. Answer her name was Nang. Nang. After the collapse of 1979, 1979, she went to her hometown in Kong Tanang. She passed away uh, already. She died from her disease. Et où se trouvait exactement son village natal And where was her home village exactly? Dans quel district In which district Réponse. Nang lived Nang in Kong Tanang in Kong Mia uh, district. Dans le district de Kong Mia. Et nous sommes d'accord que Roon, le chef de sécurité de la commune de Ankorban, lui aussi était originaire de Ankorban euh, numéro 7. C'est bien ça Dernière question sur l'origine des euh, responsables. Le responsable de district, Khan, uh, il était originaire de quel endroit Si vous le savez. You know. Home village of Khan. I have no idea. He only said that he came from the southwest zone when he attended a meeting and chaired the meeting. And he said that he was from Takao province. Vous avez également évoqué le chef du centre de sécurité de la pagode de Otrakun, Han. Est-ce que vous savez d'où il était originaire et quand il a pris ses fonctions Donc numéro un de la liste, l'attention des interprètes. I do not know about Han. I do not know when he came to take up the duty as the chief of the security center. As for his home village, I am not quite sure. When Khan chaired the meeting, Han was with him, and Han was introduced by Khan that Han was the chief of the security center, and Khan also said that Han was also from southwest zone. Une 
Dernière précision, est-ce que vous faites une différence entre chef de sécurité de la commune et chef de la milice Ou est-ce que, pour vous, à votre connaissance, c'est la même chose Les deux positions étaient les mêmes. Je vais maintenant euh, poser des questions sur ce que vous savez au sujet de la pagode de Otrakun. Vous nous avez déjà indiqué qu'elle se trouvait donc, dans le district de Kami et vous m'avez confirmé que c'était dans la commune de Pimchikang. Est-ce que... Euh, vous savez, you know, en dehors de Hon, qui travaillait home, euh, au sein de ce centre de sécurité. Est-ce que vous avez à un moment ou à un autre, At entendu parler time, du groupe about, uh, des longues épées ou de longues épées long ou de miliciens group, de longues épées. Militiamen who were the subordinates of uh, Rund, and these militiamen were armed with swords at night time, no other weapons other, other than swords that I saw at the time. Et savez-vous hein, si you know à Pim Chikang, dans la commune de Pichikang, il y avait également des miliciens armés de longues épées. Réponse, je ne sais pas au sujet de Pim Chikong. J'en viens maintenant um, à la période après 79 que vous avez évoquée avec uh, mon confrère uh, du Parti civil hier. Vous avez indiqué avoir participé à une réunion juste après la fin du régime, au cours de laquelle ont été le, a été évoqué le nombre de morts à la pagode d'Otrakun. Ma première question est de savoir si vous vous souvenez quand a eu lieu cette réunion. Was held after 1979 Cette réunion s'est tenue après 1979. Le chief de la district et la réunion a été tenue au sein du compound de l'Otokun Pagoda. Qui était le chef de district de l'époque Qui était le chef de district de l'époque Récemment, il n'y a pas eu de réunion avant meeting en 1981 D'accord, et moi je vous demandais quel était le nom hein, du chef du district qui a présidé hein, cette réunion.
Je crois comprendre euh, de votre déposition et également de l'uniforme que vous portez aujourd'hui que vous avez des fonctions dans euh, votre municipalité. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser lesquelles Now today, I am the commune chief and the chief of the commune committee in Angkorban. I became uh, the commune chief uh, from uh, 1997, and I have been in this position until now. D'accord. J'en reviens à la période donc, de 82 ou 83 à laquelle vous situez euh, cette réunion euh, au sein de, dans l'enceinte de la pagode de Otrakun. En quelle qualité avez-vous été invité à cette réunion à l'époque J'ai participé au rituel. And uh, we were informed of the killings committed by uh, Khmer Rouge. And at the time, the figure of people died during the period uh, was estimated around uh, 30,000. And I was a uh, one uh, citizen attending the ritual, uh, ritual at that time. Qui vous a donné ce chiffre ce jour-là Le chef de district informed uh, everyone in the meeting about that figure. Je voudrais euh, revenir à une partie de votre euh, déposition E3 bar 9, euh, E3 pardon, bar 8, 7, 5, 1, ERN en français 00, 7, 2, 3, 8, 1, 3, ERN en anglais 00, 7, 2, 2, 2, 3, 6, et ERN en Khmer, 00716483. Et je vais vous demander de préciser un certain point après avoir lu cet extrait. Donc on vous demande à combien, euh, combien de victimes il y aurait eu à la pagode d'Otrakun et voilà ce que vous répondez. Je ne le sais pas de façon précise, mais selon une déclaration prononcée par un fonctionnaire de l'État du Cambodge à l'occasion d'une cérémonie de commémoration qui a eu lieu après la chute du régime des Khmer Rouges à laquelle j'ai participé, le nombre de victimes exécutées dans cette pagode s'est levé à environ 30 000 personnes. Et vous poursuivez. Ce chiffre n'était qu'une estimation avancée par certains, par certains fonctionnaires et non pas une représentation officielle. Ma question porte sur cette dernière phrase. Quand vous dites « ce chiffre n'était qu'une estimation avancée par certains fonctionnaires et non pas une représentation officielle », qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire exactement Exactement. Et est-ce que je dois comprendre qu'il y a eu des discussions sur ce chiffre by the public servants at that time, it was the estimated figure. The number was estimated roughly around 30,000. 
it was not the actual figure, it was only the estimated figure. And that the figure was announced uh, to everyone in that meeting. Et savez-vous où est-ce que le fonctionnaire de l'État a indiqué d'où il tirait ces chiffres After the end of Khmer Rouge regime, à la fin du régime des Khmer Rouge. public uh, servants invited uh, villagers to exhume uh, the bones and scalps, and those bones and scalps were collected and put in a stupa. Based on the report, only uh, the scalps were exhumed and uh, collected at that time because uh, there were too many bones uh, in that area. Ma question est de savoir, uh, au moment was, de cette exhumation, est-ce que uh, vous savez s'il y avait uh, uh, des experts pour uh, dater uh, ces restes uh, uh, et savoir est-ce que uh, ces uh, exhumations ont fait l'objet uh, de rapports ou d'archives uh, qui ont été ensuite communiqués à la population, est-ce que vous le savez I have no idea about uh, this matter because I was not engaged in, you know, in the statistic and also in the that uh, assignment. Je vous dis ça parce que, au niveau du dossier, il existe un document E3-26-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6-2-6
knowledge of uh, that matter. It is beyond my knowledge. I do not know about that matter. It is it has something to do with the upper level. Est-ce que vous savez s'il existe you know, uh, aujourd'hui un comité uh, de la pagode de Utrakun Et est-ce que, en tant que responsable de votre commune, vous avez déjà été invité à des réunions de ce comité de la pagode Uh, no, no, no meetings uh, held uh, at any time we Aucune want. Réunion. However, on the 20th May annually, année, there will be a ritual held for the dead. Regarding uh, the committee, there is a committee within the pagoda who has a responsibility in the ritual, and I am not, I do not have any position uh, engaging in that matter with the, the committee of uh, in the pagoda. Mais est-ce que vous connaissez hein, les know, membres qui composent hein, ce comité sans en faire partie Est-ce que vous en avez connaissance so the members uh, have been changed uh, since 1979. However, now today I have known a few members uh, within that committee. Est-ce que vous pouvez me donner le nom de ces membres, s'il vous plaît? And can you provide me with the names of these members, please? I have known one individual by the name Tai Kum Hon. He is part of the committee. I know this individual very well. Et savez-vous hein, s'il you know avait des fonctions sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique? PMG Kong district uh, near Otakun Pagoda, and now today uh, he is members of the committee. He was elected to be part of that committee. pour être plus précis, pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique, est-ce que il habitait toujours au village numéro 2 ou est-ce que il habitait déjà dans uh, la commune de Pritchi. De Pritchi Kang. Pritchi Kong. Pimchi Kong commune. President, the council. Please uh, repeat your question because through the interpretation I heard is uh, Prayachi and it is far from uh, the location uh, being in question here. Prayachi is to do with the previous uh, civil party testimony. 
Non, non, Monsieur le Président, c'est ma langue qui a fourché. J'ai no, effectivement des problèmes ce matin. Donc, euh, je repose It ma question, Monsieur euh, le témoin. Est-ce que euh, la personne dont tongue. vous euh, nous parlez euh, était so euh, déjà dans la my commune de Pim Chikang sous le Kampuchea démocratique ou est-ce qu'il était encore dans votre village numéro 2 de Angkor Ban vous voulez que je vous dise où il habitait In which commune during the Democratic Committee regime is that the gist of your question? C'est ce que vous me demandez. If that is, allow me to respond. Si c'est le cas, je vais répondre. Uh, from the period of 1975 to 1979, to my understanding, Tai Kum Hoon, Married a wife in a Pim Chikong commune. Dans la commune de Pim Chikong. Et donc, si je comprends bien, c'est là qu'il vivait pendant so le Kampuchea démocratique. C'est bien ça. That is where that person lived on the democratic Kampuchea. Yes, that is correct. Je vous remercie de ces précisions et je euh, cède maintenant la parole à euh, mon confrère Kong Samon. Vous avez la parole. Kong Samon, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Merci, Your Honours, and everyone, and good morning, Mr. Witness. I only have a few additional questions uh, to you, Mr. Witness. In your interview notes, that is your document E3-5301, Uh, the Kma EN 0066 and in French 0062 and English 0021 And you also said, in addition to this uh, interview notes, that you worked in a plowing uh, group. At the year and a page that I uh, mentioned, you said you were in charge of plowing. Can you elaborate a bit further? Were you simply a, a, a person who was assigned to plow or were you in charge of the group or the plowing group? Answer. Yes, I noticed the mistake in the interview note. I myself was not in charge of the plowing group. I was one of the workers who were assigned to plow the field. And yes, I do note that uh, the document states that en I fait, was uh, the one who led the uh, uh, plowing group, but that is not correct. I was a member of the group and not the one who was in charge of that uh, group. Council, thank you. Merci. Can you inform the uh, court how the plowing group was organized? Was it subdivided into smaller teams? Answer. Réponse. Subgroups uh, were divided within the plowing group. For example, a group could have uh, 10 plow. And that was under a supervision of a 
big uh, group unit and under the big group unit uh, there were three small group units I was uh, within a group with the ten plows, and we worked together and we ate together within the group. Council, thank you. Question. And in relation to an individual named Rund, from what I have heard so far throughout your testimony, and in addition, in the same document that I uh, just quote with the uh, Khmer EN at uh, 0063-5167 and uh, the French EN is at 0062-2400 and at English 0021-0482. You mentioned uh, Run as the person who ordered vous dites que on, la personne qui avait donné and, and in fact it, it mentioned an, but you corrected it later in your enfin, testimony as the person actually named on. Ici dans le que cette on. And my question to you is the following. Donc, How did you learn that Run Comment gave orders to on? Answer. Réponse. I refer to the time uh, that the Cham people was arrested on was the deputy arrêté. village on chief who was present in adjoint. the dining hall and Drun gave a verbal order to him oral. to call à out the Cham the Cham people and the Cham children to uh, reunite uh, with the uh, Cham's uh, mothers. And that was the order that I referred to. As référence. of the authority, although Run was in charge of Quand the uh, commune security, he had authority over other chiefs, uh, de de for example, chiefs of the big units working in the rice fields so in the plowing group. group. Aussi Everybody le supérieur d'autres groupes, comme par Rune. exemple le groupe de labourage, tout le monde avait peur de Rune. Council, thank you. Question. When you Merci. said that he was afraid uh, by everybody, uh, what do you mean Quand vous dites by que that? tout le monde avait peur de lui, que voulez-vous dire Answer. Réponse. Allow me to give you an example. Uh, within the plowing example. group, Au when uh, Run came to plow, and if it was, uh, if he did not please uh, with the si work, pas he could order people to be arrested or, or to be refreshed or to be taken away and killed, and that made everyone fear him. And if we whipped uh, a cow or uh, water buffalo, si we, and if uh, that was known to him, buff, then we would be called si uh, to be reprimanded or even et, killed. Council, thank you. Question. Merci. Did you personally witness any of uh, the event that is uh, about Ron exercising his authority over the rules of people? Ron used his authority on these people. Answer. Réponse. Uh, no, uh, except the arrest of the Cham people. Ron reigned the terror over the entire Rune commune, and I myself was stationed with the plowing group, so I could not say about his activities terreur, elsewhere. And of course, they would not tell us about uh, the, uh, les et the arrest that were made in the commune. On ne nous disait pas nous n'étions pas mis au courant de oui. toutes les arrestations dans la commune. The arrests were not made uh, in open or in public. Council, thank you. Question. Merci. So, when you said that uh, people were afraid of him, Quand vous dites que les gens avaient peur de lui, 
It's uh, because it is uh, your conclusion, personal conclusion, que, that everybody was afraid of him. Personnel. But in practice, you never witnessed Ron making bon, an arrest of anyone and let her to be uh, refreshed. Is my a summary a correct? Ai-je bien résumé votre euh, Président, uh, witness, le président Hold on and the deputy co-prosecutor, you had the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, Monsieur le Président. I think for the clarity of the record, uh, counsel should not ask mm. compound questions. Mm. It's clear that the witness has stated that he did see Rune affecting arrests. Um, now, in regards to what happened after those arrests, counsel can ask questions about that. Um, but the, at least in the interpretation I heard, um, uh, counsel's summary uh, was asking him to confirm that he never saw Rune affecting any arrests, um, and that is clearly incorrect on the testimony of the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I don't really uh, see the point of the objection uh, by the deputy co-prosecutor through the uh, interpretation that I heard. In fact, the uh, witness just uh, responded to my question uh, regarding everyone's fear of a rune. And he made his personal conclusion that uh, Ron might arrest people uh, to be taken away for uh, refreshing, and I put to him a follow-up follow question bon, whether he witnessed that uh, personally, si and he said that he did cela. not. And I also have a second follow-up question whether the fear that he referred to was si merely his personal uh, conclusion. Uh, and si not from the actual scene of the arrest that si he uh, made. Cette peur, une so, press and interrupt. Uh, Mr. Witness, you do not need uh, to uh, respond to the last question as you already Président, made uh, your témoin, response known to the chamber. Council, uh, Mr. President, what I uh, seek was his uh, uh, personal response and uh, not my personal uh, conclusion. President, interrupt. Conclusion you just mentioned that you actually made your own vous conclusion in your vous question, and you should refer to the transcript uh, if I am mistaken. And for that reason, the witness is not in a position to uh, Give an evaluation to your personal conclusion. Counsel, maybe I uh, spoke, uh, I mistakenly said it. I refer to my personal uh, question to this witness. President, how many, uh, how long do you need to conclude your uh, question? Counsel, it would not be long, Mr. President. President, if it is only a few minutes, you can si proceed. Otherwise, we need to adjourn for a short break. Council, Mr. Witness, I have another question for you. While you worked in the plowing group, were you assigned to work elsewhere or were you promoted to any, any position within the group? Answer. And uh, the uh, DK regime, my uh, sole task was uh, plowing. My sole task was the labor. And I was not assigned to uh, do any other task or to engage in any other role. Et on, uh, je pas eu role. Council, thank you. Merci. Yesterday, 
you uh, testified uh, that the Khmerus wanted to abolish yeah, other ethnicities in your village or even throughout the country. Village et Do you recall the, the testimony that you made yesterday? Answer. Réponse. I said the Khmerus wanted to kill the uh, minorities because uh, throughout my observation, the Cham people who were sent to live uh, mixed with the uh, Khmer people, it's because uh, they did not want uh, to have uh, and uh, minor as necessity uh, within uh, the uh, community. They do not want any Cham people or race to live uh, in the country. And uh, as I testified yesterday, the Cham people were sent to Otrokuda, Council. Thank you. When you said that they, the other Khmerus, that they did not want to have other races in Cambodia, how did you know that? Answer. I say so because uh, when Run arrested those uh, Cham people, they said, we will kill all the Cham people and we will not spare anyone. That's why I uh, made my conclusion that they did not want uh, any other races uh, to live in Cambodia. Council, thank you. Did you hear Run say something to that effect that you just mentioned? And did you hear it personally that all Rune Cham people cela? had to be killed? L'avez-vous entendu vous-même? Run a dit qu'il fallait tuer tous les Chams. And so, uh, yes, I oui. heard it personally oui, when the, the arrest was being made at the time. Council, thank you. Question. You also uh, told the court about the position Run held Vous in your area. Dit quel était le poste qu'occupait Run? Since you uh, refer to the uh, policies of the Democratic Campuchia that they wanted to eliminate all Cham people throughout the country, du pays. do you have any other evidence uh, to support uh, uh, your point that uh, the Democratic Campuchia wanted to kill all the Cham people throughout the country? Besides uh, the statement you heard only from uh, one cadre in uh, your local area, par, uh, President Hong Kong Soo, you uh, have the floor. Le président a parlé, Councilor Hong Kong Soo. Hong Kong Soo. Thank you, Mr. President. Hong Kong Soo. Merci, Monsieur le Président. This witness does not uh, provide any conclusion or evidence besides what he personally heard or know. And if you ask him to provide any other evidence, he's not in a position to do that. President, your objection is not uh, appropriate that's uh, overrule as you do not uh, try to get clear response from your uh, witness because yesterday uh, Council Hong Kong soon put a question of this kind to the witness and did not expand it further and that leaves a gap for the defense team to uh, seek clarification from the witness. And for that reason, 
the civil uh, the witness has to uh, respond to this question. You put a question to him regarding the killing of the charm in his area, but in his response, he talked about the elimination of the charm people throughout the country. And that leads the opportunity for the defense to seek clarification from this witness. And you should have done that yesterday. First, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, would you call the last question for the year? If not, uh, Council Council on please repeat your last question to the witness. Witness, uh, Council, please repeat your question. Council, uh, thank you. Allow me to repeat my uh, last question to you. You already testified that the Khmerus intended to kill other minor, minor, other minor ethnicities in Cambodia and in response to one of my questions, you said that Ron, while, while the arrest was being conducted, said that uh, the Cham people, all the Cham people had to be killed. And my question is in relation to your own knowledge. How did you Je know that the Khmer Rouge had a policy to eliminate all the Cham people throughout the country, while in fact you only heard a statement made by a cadre in your local area? Answer. I said the Khmer Rouge wanted to eliminate the uh, minor ethnicities, namely the Cham people and the Cham race, because it is my observation that uh, there were Cham living in two villages in Okoban commune. And under the Khmer Rouge regime, I did not know what the Khmer Rouge did to those Cham people. They were no longer living in the villages, and they were sent elsewhere or they were taken away elsewhere and killed. And under the Khmer Rouge regime between 75 to 79, no more Cham were living in Angkoban commune. And that led me uh, to a personal conclusion that a plan was put in place for the elimination of the Cham people. President, Mr. Uh, witness, as a witness, you should not provide a response which is uh, a, a speculation. You are not in a position as an expert to make such a, an assessment or conclusion. Please uh, refrain yourself from providing any speculation, and you certainly provide a response to the limit of your knowledge, as we uh, informed you of your uh, obligation at the beginning of uh, the testimony. If you know it, you say so, and if you don't know it, you say you don't know it, and try not to uh, speculate uh, uh, your response. Council, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I have a, another question to put to the uh, witness. Mr. Witness, uh, you said Monsieur, that you became a commune chief in 1997, and you uh, attended uh, the, the meeting held at the Pagoda in 1981 or 82, that is at the Otrokun uh, Pagoda. And at that time, you were just a, an ordinary villager. So please uh, tell the court what, uh, whether you held any other position between 81 and 82 to 1992 when you became the commune chief. 
et 97 quand vous êtes devenu chef de commune. I would like to provide you the inform uh, the following. In 1984, I worked in the Ankoban uh, commune as a member of the committee at the time. And I was in that position until 1997, when I was elected as a, a commune chief, and I remained in that position until today. Council, and which, uh, which political party do you belong to? President interrupt. Mr. Witness, you do not need to respond to this uh, question as uh, in this court of law. This kind of question Ce should not be asked. Council, uh, Mr. President, I do not have any further question for the witness. Je plus de question. President, uh, thank you. Le président. Merci. The hearing today comes to an adjournment. Voilà we will adjourn the hearing today and resume on Monday, the 14th, September 2015, lundi. commencing at 9 o'clock in the morning. And on that day, we'll comment hearing testimony of a witness to TCW 880. And we also have a reserve witness on that day, that is to TCW 883. The hearing of the testimony of Mr. Seng Hui voilà now uh, concludes, uh, and Mr. Seng Hui, the Chamber is grateful Seng of your time and testimony uh, for the last uh, two days. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. Your presence is no longer required, you and you are excused, and you can return to wherever you, you wish to go to. The Chamber wishes you uh, good luck, la good health, bonne chance et bonne and all the best. Court officer, in collaboration with Wesu, please uh, make Monsieur arrangement uh, for Mr. Senkoi to return to his residence or wherever he wishes to go to. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, no G and Kiss upon, but to the detention facility. and have them return to attend the uh, proceedings on Monday 14 September 2015 before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned.